Assalamu alaikum and good evening everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. All right, got a nice package here from a company called Polar Pro. This company, I've been researching them and they are amazing. They make some really cool stuff. For what? For drones, amongst other things. Right now we're gonna focus on drones. So let's unbox this, let's see what's in here. And then if it's something cool, maybe we can go and try it out. All right, I'm using a scissor. I haven't gotten a knife yet, but Maybe that's what we should get next, huh? A knife. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Okay, first thing we got. Oh man, this is really cool. All right. Cinema Series Filter. Six pack. This is cool. ND4, ND8, ND16, and then you got the ND4 plus polarizer, ND8 plus polarizer, and the ND16 plus polarizer. That's what it looks like. Okay, so we're gonna talk about this in a sec, in a minute. Actually, this is gonna be the main focus. Let's see what else is in here. Nice, nice, nice. This is cool. All right, so I was supposed to have another package coming in, I think it's on the way. This is a mini Malice package basically for the DJI Mavic Air. This is really cool because it's tiny, number one. Number two, it's soft hard. We're gonna discuss this later on when I get the rugged package, but I just want to show it to you real quick. This is really cool, so it's really small. It fits the DJI Mavic Air really well. It's supposed to fit three batteries, the remote control, the charging hub, your cables, and your polarizer deal that you got here. So that's pretty cool. That's a whole bunch of stuff, huh? All right, so I'm gonna put this to the side. We're gonna discuss this later on. Right now, let's talk about these ND filters. That's something really cool. Just unpackage this nice and slow. I like to save my boxes. I don't know why. All right. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm gonna bring it right up to the lens so you guys can get a closer look. All right, first things first. Why would you need a filter on a drone? The DJI Mavic Air has an amazing camera. It's a 4K camera and it records on a high bit rate. So it's a pretty sophisticated piece of equipment. Most guys now, most of us that do some, to do vlogging or just generally do videos and wanna make them as cinematic as possible, you want what's called motion blur. But if you're gonna record at 24 frames per second, then your shutter speed needs to be at around 50. So if you're gonna have 24 frames per second and your shutter speed's around 50, it's gonna create what's called motion blur. This is what the closest thing that the, na the naked eye can see, which is when you wrap your fingers back and forth or when you swap them back and forth, you see that blur that goes behind your fingers? That's called motion blur. And that's realistic stuff as far as cinema is concerned. Now, the thing, the problem is when you're outdoors shooting, you're gonna adjust your settings 24 frames per second, and then you're gonna bump up your shutter speed at uh, one over 50, you're gonna have a problem. The video is gonna be blown out, so everything's gonna be white around it, or it's not gonna be as cool, it's not gonna be as nice. So what you gotta do is, you gotta dial down the white in the back or the blown out image. And the only way to do that is to throw on some sunglasses. Pop them in your eye, and then there you go. That's how you do it. So, <laughs> but the thing is you don't put them on your eyes. You put them on the Mavic Air. And the cool thing about the Polar Pro is it actually comes with the uh, ND4, ND8, and ND16. So that gives you in stop mode, and ND4 gives you two stops, two stops of light. ND8 gives you three stops of light, and the ND16 gives you four stops of light, which I think is gonna be all you need. If the sun is strong, ND16, and it even has a polarizer. If you want more information about what polarizers are, I'll put a link down in the description below. You can look more into that, but basically it makes the, it, it reduces the reflections. So if you're shooting over water or there's glares or the sun is hitting a car that you're recording and you got a whole bunch of shiny stuff going on, if you rotate the polarizer, it's gonna reduce that and it's gonna make the image a lot nicer for you. So that's what's really cool about having the filters on. It really helps make your cinematic images more cinematic. In fact, I think this is what the, yeah, 
Mavic Air Edition, Cinema Series Mavic Air Edition. So if you guys are looking to shoot some really cool videos and um, you wanna shoot them in broad daylight, but you kinda of have to, you're gonna need some filters. And Polar Pro, they claim to have some of the best ones. So we're gonna go out and test them. But before we go out and test them, let's see how these things hook up. Thank you very much, Advanced Media, for lending me your drone. My drone is coming in, it's being serviced right now. We'll talk about that later, big mishap. Anyhow, so we're gonna connect this bad boy, all right? So first things first, prop out the legs. You need to remove the gimbal cover. Put that aside. Now, this is a three axis gimbal, so it's a little bit of a tricky part here. So you're gonna have to, you know, I'll bring it up to the camera, but you're gonna have to hold the gimbal, all right? So you're gonna have to hold the gimbal and then slowly unscrew, gently. This thing is very sensitive. There we go, okay. It's coming off. So here, let me just unscrew it and then I'll bring it to the screen. All right, so it comes right off. There's a cover that's on. Actually, this, all it is is a thread cover. Pretty much it looks like it just covers the threads and protects it, protects the actual glass on the camera. All right, so now let's let's hook up one of these Polar Pro filters. Let's take one that has an ND filter on it. This way, that, 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 let's take one that has a polarizer on it. I'm sorry. Uh, so we're gonna take one here that has a polarizer, so that way we can see what it looks like. So it looks like it's two discs that's, that are two rings that are connected. So it spins, and I'm gonna bring that to the screen right there. Okay, so let's see if it's in focus now. Uh, there we go, got it in focus, and you see how it says ND16 on it right there. This is what the ring is. This is what it looks like. It's two rings connected together. And then basically you spin them. And then once you spin, that's how you adjust the polarization. This is how you adjust the polarizer. So to connect it, you kind of have to do the same thing. You have to gently put your thumb or your fingers on to the three axis gimbal. Do not apply too much pressure or else you might damage the gimbal. Gently grab one of the filters and slowly Put it on to what the first thread gently spin because if you spin too hard remember these these are gent, very small threads so if you spin it like you're spinning a, uh, a bottle cap you might end up breaking one of the threads and that's gonna be a really bad day for you all right so gently screw it on and you're good to go that's it let's see if it focuses okay so the top part guys of the ring okay so it's on it's all connected now it's all hooked up so the top part of the ring, and get that in focus right there, it's the one that spins. So once you spin it, that's when the polarizer takes effect. Okay, so you wanna make sure it's facing down, just like that. So that's pretty much how you put it on. That's how you hook it up. Now the really cool thing is this. If you wanna be ready to fly at all times, and you, you, know, you know that you fly during times and it's really heavy, the, the sun is really strong, or it's really bright outside, you can keep the, 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 the filters on, take your cover, and honestly, it fits right with the cover, which to me is kind of amazing because that's the part that always worries you if it's, you know, the, the removing on and off. So put the cover on, snap it into place, it fits perfect. It's a perfect fit, no problem. Cool, all right. So we're gonna keep this guy on right now and then we're gonna go outside and fly it. Another cool thing is, the little ring that comes with the camera on, the DJI Mavic Air, when you take it off, you always worry where you're gonna put this thing. These are the things that sometimes get lost, and the cool thing is, if you just take it off, it fits snug right back into the Polar Pro case, filter case, okay? So, I'm gonna bring this to the front of the camera again. It looks like it is into focus. We're all good. This is how it looks like. This is what you get in this very amazing package. Let's go see how amazing it is. Let's go fly it. I'm in a desert, beautiful desert out in Dubai, Al Qudra, and we're gonna try out the Mavic Air without the Polar Pro, with, without the filters, and with the filters. So, let's start without the filters. Let's see how this looks like.
Okay, so that's how the flight looked like without the filter on. So now I'm putting the 16 filter on, uh, the NV16PL. Just screwed it on, I showed you guys how to do that earlier, but it's all set, ready to go. Let's see what the image looks like with the filter on, huh? Okay guys, so now you're able to see the difference between flying with a Polar Pro ND filter and flying without. You can definitely have more control over the lighting situation. If you want that moving blur, that rolling blur with your hands, that realistic look, that cinematic look that everyone is always looking for, then you obviously have to adjust your shutter speed like we discussed earlier. And if you're gonna do that while the sun is out or while in broad daylight, you just can't do it. You need an ND filter and this is where it comes in handy, Polar Pro. Big thank you to Polar Pro for sending out these filters to me. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna do some more flying, some more testing, and probably make some more cool videos using these filters. If you guys want more information on these ND filters, check the description down below. I'm gonna list the link to where you can find out more information and where you can purchase them, where you can purchase them from. Thank you for joining me, really appreciate it. I'm gonna be doing more videos like this. If you did like this video, please give me a like and a comment down below. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe and tap that bell. This way you can get a notification every time I put up a new video. And uh, if you don't like this video, let me know why. I'd love to hear, you, hear your feedback either way. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you on the next one. Salam alaikum.